at High Finest. Thank you so much for the super chat. Have you guys seen HD Movie Sources tutorials on multi EQX imports? I followed it and found I needed 10 peak EQ filters as much as 18 dB cut. Is it too much? Yeah, I I've watched them. So he talks a lot about our spatial toolkit and how it's useful to him. Uh, oh, I met him in North Carolina. He was there at Audio Advice. Yeah. Nice yeah. Uh, I've actually, we worked together uh, on his system before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because when Multi Q X first came out, I had been playing with it for a while. And so he wanted to, you know, kind of go over it with me. So we did like a one on one session where, you know, we went over some of that stuff. And it seems like he took what he learned from uh, our discussion, and he took it to his own on a different level, which is awesome. Yep. I think I love that sort of thing. That. Um, but yeah, he does some good stuff. And uh, basically what I've told him is the thing that he's doing really, I think it's, is a correct thing to do is with multi QX, he's excluding the measurements that Odyssey is taking. You know, a lot of people think that multi QX is just, you know, to, you know, to tweak the system a little bit more than the editor app. You know, it just gives you a few things to do. Actually, the biggest thing I think it does is the fact that you can exclude anything that Odyssey does and then import your own uh, custom curves and, and correction filters. To me, that's the strength of it. And that's what he does. So he uh, he measures with REW. Then he, he imports them, excluding all of the Odyssey measurements. And the reason I say that that's important is because I found that the Odyssey measurements are uh, they're not in line with what I'm getting with REW. Mm -hmm. When I measure both from the main listening uh -oh. position, I look at them, I'm like, mm, <laughs> these aren't the same, you know? I've actually went and I traced out the graph, right? So you can't export from multi-QX, but I've traced out the graph, put it on you know, this website where it takes the points and then it gives you a text file. Uh -huh. And I've taken the text file and imported that into REW. So it's an exact, pretty close, pretty, pretty exact, right? And when I compare them, I'm like, this is not, it's not the same measurement. So if it's making corrections off a measurement that I don't think is accurate, then uh, the, whatever it does to correct it is also not going to give you an accurate, accurate result. So uh, as far as the rest of his question, I followed it and found I needed 10 PEQ filters as much as 18 dB cut, is that too much? Uh, sounds like a lot. It depends on where the cut is. You know, if you have a huge base rise, I I guess, you know. Um, it sounds like a lot, though. It does sound like a lot. I think it would depend on where, where it needs to cut. So if it's an 18 dB cut at, you know, higher frequency, that would I'd be... It's kind of weird. If it's 18 dB cut at... Mm, I don't know what's a typical uh, uh, frequency where bass gets boosted, maybe around like 40 hertz or something like that in a room. Uh, yeah, around 40, 40 hertz ish. If you're getting, if it needs to cut there, mm, I guess, I guess it sounds like a lot though. It does sound like a lot to me. Aaron, do you think that's a lot for um, a required cut for PEQ 18 dB? Hey. Teen, that seems like a lot. I mean, that certainly seems like a lot. I don't know. In car audio, do you ever have to cut 18, 18 decibels? No, man. I don't think I've ever seen a need for 18 decibels of cut. I mean, yeah. the only way I can imagine that is if you're measuring with the RTA set in. Um, gosh, this might blow me up right now. Uh, the resolution is like super, super high, maybe 124th or 148th octave or something like that, where, you know, normally when you have smoothing enabled, it'll kind of smooth that over. It won't be quite as steep. And then if you have that resolution turned on really high, it'll make that cue more narrow and it'll shoot it straight up. So it might look much worse than it really is. But that would be the only way I could imagine having 18 decibels of, of cut required to get down to the rest of the frequencies to, that kind of line up with that general trend line, if that makes 18 sense. 18 dB, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you make a good point, though, depending on the smoothing that you use, right? So I would yeah. usually recommend taking a look at at least psychoacoustic smoothing 
just to get an idea like is this a place you really need to cut that much or is it would you hear that much would you hear 18 db or is it surrounded by other frequencies where you probably wouldn't notice the 18 db uh cut so i think that's one case where you you might want to take a look at some different smoothing to see if that is actually necessary yeah. um yeah hopefully that helps let me know if it didn't Make sure to join us every Monday for our live stream at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com forward slash daily i